Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Goblin Encounters, a mod by Conflict FTW, and it adds in, of all things, goblins. So yeah, sure, it adds in goblins. It also adds in several other things, and as you can see, there's like a little boss bar at the top. That's from this guy here, the Goblin King. These are all uh, currently with no uh, AI in them, but it adds in several types of goblins, as well as some structures, a little bit of different uh, like item fixes for your vanilla Minecraft, in my opinion. Um, so before we get too heavily into these guys, because they are the, the, the core of the mod, let me show you some of the, the real quick items here that this mod also adds. It adds in a saddle recipe. It adds in a mail that you can use to make chain mail, which is then used to make the chain armor. Uh, it adds in a crate block, which uh, is made as such. It serves no purpose short of decoration, and when you click on it, it makes the same sound as a regular chest opening. It adds in ration cakes, which are made with just some wheat and eggs. We'll get you a couple of these, and they're not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, but it also adds in a way of making leather by smelting rotten flesh. So therefore, this kind of takes the place of several other smaller mods. But it also adds in one other thing, Goblin's Bane, which sounds like something you could use against the goblins. And unless you plan on throwing purple wool at them, it's not really going to help too much. But it, it's used to just make purple dye, so you no longer need to use Lapis. The reason it's called Goblin's Bane is because goblins, these guys here, like Lapis. As you can see, he's like kind of dressed in like a little Lapis air stuff. And the, we've got these uh, uh, like little crude golems and whatnot. We've got Goblin Grunts. We've got goblin rangers, we've got goblin warriors, we've got goblin monks that also make these little sparkly emissions. The uh, the golems make this, these sparkle emissions, and of course the king. Yeah, well, he's just the king, baby. So to start off with, there are different structures that you may find in the world, this being one of them. Uh, I may also spawn with several goblins. They also will spawn normally as part of your, your random mobs during the night and whatnot. They don't tend to attack villagers, uh, and they will attack players on site. They do have some special tactics, and as I was saying, these guys have no AI. So let's actually go around and view some of the other structures these guys may spawn with, and uh, we'll check out some of the different uh, kinds of goblins at the same time. This is a goblin farm, one of the rarer things. The, the goblin structures you may find in the world are going to be relatively rare, uh, there aren't any configs that I could find in order to increase how often they show up or anything like that. But if you do find them, uh, this being a goblin farm, they actually have one of these crates, which, as I said before, you right-click, and it makes that noise. If you break it, it makes a, a large crashing noise. And they will typically be uh, uh, keeping pigs. Let's keep them back there for now. It, nothing really major. No, like, super treasures at this because, well, it is just a farm after all. Now this is a goblin tower. Uh, usually these will just kind of spawn out in all sorts of random places. And you may find in or around this structure more goblins, of course, as well as perhaps some, some loot. Uh, usually it's ranger types that are going to be in here. Of course they are, well, ranged foes as it is, and we'll be showing you some of that uh, as we go. But yeah, they, they may be milling about. They might not even be here. It might be a deserted outpost. It, it might be populated, but uh, that's another one of the structures that you may run into, an archer's tower. Now this is probably more like what you'll end up experiencing at some point is like the goblin cave area. It's going to have a little bit more interest, probably some goblins. There usually are not uh, entrances to this. Usually it just kind of like is just a pocket. You may find it by accident or you might even hear these guys making their little noises and stuff. This being a grunt, we've got some warriors in here. You, you might find all sorts. I think, yeah, there's even a, a, a monk, goblin monk over here, which is like their, their religious leader, if you will, um, or their religious leader type. But you might find some other loots nearby, this being a little bit better than before. A little bit of lapis and their sacrifices to the lapis god. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I said, it, it's probably just going to dead end somewhere. It is kind of cool that it is here, but there are also some quirks these guys might have. Let me uh, take some of these off my hot bear. If I put down a chicken, uh, then, well, some of them may end up taking a distinct interest in it, 
namely the grunts, uh, among others. And then, of course, bats. Uh, bats are highly desired and prized by these guys. They just want to kill it, though. It's pretty much the idea. So <laughs> just little little things that, you know, you might have an interest in. You can see that the uh, the monk is throwing fireballs at these guys that look like little uh, magma slimes. You've got your warriors are just a little bit heavier armored versions of the regular uh, goblinoids. <laughs> and the grunts get picked on by everybody else. Uh, they're just your basic naked <laughs> goblin that runs around and may attack you. Uh, they do have little jumping attacks as well, which are pretty darn cool and sometimes very unpredictable. Uh, so yeah, basically it goes grunts are the lowest. Then you've got your warriors, which are slightly armored versions of grunts. And then you've got your uh, rangers, which will shoot you with uh, ranged weaponry, and the monks, which are kind of like a combination between the warrior and the ranger. Now, I did a fair bit of searching. I could not find the uh, the goblin hall, but I know that there is one of those structures at least. There may be others as well that I might have missed, but the one that you really want to look for is this one here. This is a goblin shrine. It is protected by a lot of the, the religious leaders of, of the sect. In other words, a whole bunch of monks, which are just ranged guys here. And you'll see that they have a little bit of like uh, just design here going on with this. It's pretty cool. And they've got the Ritual Stone, which is the great lapis lazuli um, of some sort. But it, it's actually a boss summoning device. If you right click this, a boss and his minions will be summoned on top of any that are already here. So you might want to defeat these guys first before you take this on. But once you do, you then get weakness for a few seconds. And the boss himself will actually spawn the Goblin King, along with a couple of his uh, crude golems. Oh, and just by being near them, I get nausea too, because, well, they're, he's got a lot of BO problems. But, uh, I mean, these guys here, they're pretty darn cool. They're not really as smart as the rest of the, um, the golem, or the, the rest of the goblins, or even regular golems, they're they're kind of slow, and they will attack you if you get kind of close, but for the most part, they, they don't really do much to you. It's the king himself that actually will just constantly keep walking towards you and doing damage. Now, if you were to defeat the Goblin King, now of course I am in creative mode, so I'm not being aggroed or attacked by any of these guys, you may find certain drops from them, others, or, or whatever. And you notice that the Ritual Stone turned into a block of lapis now. Um, but if you also notice down here, there is a sil Silsippus Ore, which is what you're going to want to craft or uh, harvest up for making one of these. Silsaphir, the Goblin's Bane Sword. By crafting this with some obsidian, diamond, iron ingots, and Silsippus Crystals, which you would get from that ore, you'll make this. And it comes pre-enchanted with Fire Aspect 3, Smite 1, and Sweeping Edge 3, plus a base of 10 for its damage. So therefore, you could also add to that on top of it. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, you're, you're going to have to... These guys have a lot of health. They they sound pretty pretty Iron Golem-y as well. And if you drop in an Iron Golem, it will try attacking goblins, but they'll most likely... Or no, it won't actually attack goblins, but they will run from it because it's very intimidating to them. Some of the ranged ones may find it intriguing, but uh, for the most part, goblins find them terrifying. So yeah, uh, I mean, it's just a neat little world gen mod that adds a bunch of like little add-on pieces that kind of fill in the gaps, as well as uh, some goblins you might find. They don't really dominate the uh, the mob numbers that you might find in the world, so you're not just like going to constantly fight goblins all the time instead of zombies or something. So you just find like one or two mixed in here and there, and uh, they're definitely... A little more interesting to fight. I mean, uh, over here, this being a monk, he's not quite as interesting as let's let's grab a goblin grunt over here, drop him down, and we'll actually uh, see about him coming at me while I'm not in sur while I'm not in creative and I'm in survival. There we go. And now, yep, he comes at you, but he also does these little jumping attacks, which kind of makes him a little bit unpredictable. He's also very fast. He's like the uh, almost the speed of a baby zombie. In fact, he probably is the speed of a baby zombie, uh, but he doesn't have much health, as you can see. He, he kind of goes down with one hit there from the uh, Sil Saphir, the Goblin's Bane Sword. But uh, yeah, each one is going to be a little bit more challenging than the last. Not a lot of health for the, uh, the Goblin Monks, but uh, yeah, they can still be damaging and dangerous if uh, you're caught unaware. So they're just like a, a kind of a, a meek add-on 
uh, to the existing Minecraft landscape. Nothing really heavy for you to have in your game or, or mod pack, but I, I find it quite entertaining and a nice little mix to on occasion have uh, a goblin appear out of the darkness that I, I'm going to have to end up fighting and uh, yeah, maybe even get some cool loot out of it and fix up some of my stuff that uh, I, I personally think needed to be fixed to begin with. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be sure to spread the mischief to all those that you could possibly think of. And don't forget that we also stream on Twitch most days around 10 p.m. UK time. Until next time, folks. Ow. I'll see ya.